Hey beautiful Geminis, welcome back to the channel. Thank you for joining me here, each and every one of you. We've had some very tear, tearful reads, like emotional, my God, I don't know how many of these I can do. Gemini, Gemini, please and thank you, I don't know what's changing, guys. Thank you for supporting this channel as well as supporting each other. Thank you so much, guys. You never know what comment you leave is actually showing support to someone else. So for that, thank you deeply. Transcendence. Consciousness. A culmination, intuition, perseverance, a deep knowing, this is like stepping into a higher consciousness. Why am I emotional? Jeez, this has got to stop. All my other readings have been emotional so far. And I'm not emotional. Like, hang on. Suffering in silence, that's why. Holy jeez, am I ever razor sharp on my empath, empathies today. I don't know why. I'm picking up such strong energies. Oh my goodness. Someone is suffering in silence. A culmination of energy. A victory, a success. A triumph. Harmony. A deep knowing a higher consciousness. So somebody is very hopeful here. Oh, somebody is being brought into a higher consciousness. Very hopeful here. Hoping for a victory or hoping for something. This is a King of Wands or a King of Pentacles or they're the same person. Higher Consciousness. Awareness. A victory. So somebody is suffering. This could be to do with family. Codependency. Addictions. Someone's doing a lot of thinking, wishing and hoping. For nine of pentacles.
is temptation. Somebody is not being tempted. Somebody is not giving into temptation here. Somebody is hoping and wishing for a culmination, a reunion, or um, someone is suffering in silence here. Oh, Jesus. Some kind of fate or destiny, a culmination. A truth is being revealed. A victory, a success, a deep knowing. This actually could have been uh, I don't know if somebody has lost somebody in their family or you've lost someone in your family. My deepest condolences if you have. These, I don't know how many reads I can do today with this kind of energy. I like I am an empath, so I get really emotional at stuff. So bear with me. News, heartbreaking news. Somebody could have lost a friend. Somebody could be suffering in silence. condolences somebody's hoping and wishing this is love or caringness showing emotion and caringness maybe towards somebody who has experienced a loss trying to make something fair someone's heavily burdened depressed someone's feeling very protective Someone is mustering up or trying to manifest some kind of courage here to make an apology or offer their condolences. This is empathy. Somebody may have lost a loved one somebody who may have been sick this is very emotional someone's very 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 emotional this could be like tragic or something devastating this news and somebody
is worried about you. Or they're very upset. They feel like rushing in and they feel like this is something that they've learned. Something like this could be a friend. Someone's feeling like Someone could have thought, is this a joke? Are you playing a joke on me? Is this a joke? Sincere uh, respect. Somebody truly is they could have lost someone <sighs> to a death okay like when I pick up the death card Gemini, I know what that is. It can be transformation, but it's actually a transition. Someone is transitioning, or somebody has found out that somebody has transitioned, and it's been a heavy blow. Offering sympathies. Someone is very sad. Someone is very emotional. This is something very emotional. Hoping, wishing. Like this could have been someone that you were close to or they were close to. Someone has fond memories of this person. They could be reminiscing a deep knowing. Being an empath, there's a masculine here who's an empath. There's a feminine here who's an empath. And someone's being a smart mouth like and this person's getting offended by them being a smart ass or saying something cheesy or cold acting really cold about it but to this person it's really emotional like it could be the loss of a loved one Right? So this person's just cold about it. They're like... You know, this could be someone like that you used to be in a relationship with and it's still part of your family or this person saw them as family. They don't have to be family, but this person saw them as family. They were close or getting to know this person 
or they knew this person and they're talking to somebody who's just got a smart mouth, who's cold, callous, critical, and un no empathy, what the frick soever. And this person's getting angry at this person for being so frickin' ruthless and cold. Like, what does it matter to you? Like, they're like, well, what should it mean anything to you? Like, this person's like finding out someone's true character. So much so that they might end something where they're at and try and They might just get pissed off enough to end the situation with this cold, calculating mouthpiece and reconcile with you. They show no empathy. They show no sympathy for the loss of, of other people. They're just like, it's not important to them. They don't give a shit. They're cold. They're cold. It's either something that's important to this person. This is an empath masculine. I mean, they're very affectionate. They're very caring. They're very giving. They're an empath. And there's a feminine here who is an empath. They're no longer together. This person, this masculine, may have gone toward a third party. Now, they've heard some kind of news about this person they used to be with, trying to show them some kind of sympathy or empathy or offer condolences. And it's a big fucking problem for this mouthpiece who is an know-it-all, cold, cold individual. It's like, why should it matter to you? Well, because they were like my family. That's why. Don't want this person talking to someone to offer condolences or don't want this person talking to somebody because, because they're an asshole, basically in case they reconcile or something. It's like, I cannot. Someone very insecure. I'd go anyway if it was me. If I cared about somebody and I heard that they were having a loss in their family or someone that they were close to. It's time to just step aside, suck it up, and show some kind of decency and empathy. This person had a lot of respect for whoever passed away. And their partner is a cold ass. B-I-D-C-H. No feelings. So I could be talking to like a, a masculine 
um, who is being controlled by a new feminine in their life or something like that or were um, there's somebody who is losing a loved one and they're cold they're just cold this person cares like cares has empathy empathy for whoever passed away and whoever was the survivor someone's just being a bit straight up and that's what this masculine is becoming aware of this is someone who they used to have harmony with Okay. They may no longer be together, but they still respect that person and their family or something like that. And this other one is just wicked. Like they're wicked. They have no feelings, no empathy. They're being a narcissist. Why do you want to talk to them? Well, why should you talk to them? You're not related to them. Or, or... It's just decent. It's out of respect. Showing their true character. Someone wants to get all pissy because someone wants to show their respects or pay their respects. You know what I mean? More and more I hear about this feminine karmic energy. The less and less I have respect for them, the less and less, yeah, this person got to stand their ground. This is going too far. There is an emotional loss, okay? person is feeling defeated like they feel defeated like distraught defeated I can't win for losing here like even at a time where people are supposed to show compassion or caringness they can't even do it then they're just fucking cold what can I say man I don't know who this person is with. But they ain't doing themselves any favors by being with them if they're still with them. This is just cold, cold, critical, judgmental. Um person who can't even show decency or compassion towards somebody who is suffering like it's just sick business as usual heartless did you get your paycheck Well, I want to send some flowers or send a card or some condolences or something. <gasps> Why would you do that? It's like zero empathy. Zero. Just 
heartless, cold. I don't know if this person has experienced a loss, gone through a, a death of a loved one. They are just no affection. Get on with business. You got work to do. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. Come on. They, you know, that it happens. I mean, let's move on. Let's move on. And they're like, no. I want to grieve here. I want to. They won't even let them grieve. Or, or pay their respects. Sad. They need to turf this person. They do. Take care, Gemini.